Hey Sim Studio users, in this video we'll explore how to use unstitch and restitch to replace problem faces in a model. We've imported our model into Sim Studio tools and found some face and connectivity issues where we expected to see solid geometry. The repair guide suggests using the autofix command to repair the model, so let's try that. As you can see, Autofix was unable to clean up the geometry. So let's undo that operation and try the second suggestion of unstitching the faces and then restitching. Let's start with unstitch. We want to pick individual faces, so uncheck Chain Selection. Select the faces in the problem area and click OK. In the browser tree, we now see the Contained Surfaces folder instead of the Solid Components folder. This confirms that our model now has unstitched surfaces. The next step is to delete the problem faces. We set selection priority to faces and then pick and delete the appropriate ones. We need to create some new faces so that our model is watertight. Starting with the large surface, use the Gap Fill tool with Type set to Boundary Patch. Because we want to pick individual curves, uncheck Chaining. Select each curve until the previewed face is correct, then click OK. Next, create the rounded face. Using the Loft tool, select the two end curves and click OK. The resulting surface is smooth and provides edges for the adjacent faces. Using Patch, create the other two faces. We want to individually select curves, so uncheck Enable Chaining. Now that we've created all the faces that represent a watertight volume, let's stitch up the faces and create the solid geometry. Click Stitch and select the large surface we previously created. Red indicates free edges not currently designated for stitching, while green indicates free edges to be stitched. If appropriate, we can investigate the unstitched edges in the expandable table. Continue to select the adjacent faces. Note, as the edges change color, the stitch result numbers also change. Once the result numbers are equal and all highlighted edges are green, we're ready to stitch. Sim Studio Tools stitches up the faces and creates the solid geometry. The Contained Surfaces folder is gone, which means the model is now comprised of only solid geometry. We can use Section Analysis to verify this. This unstitch restitch workflow is just one of the many repair techniques available in Sim Studio Tools. Experiment with the workflow in your models and explore more techniques in the other videos. Thanks for watching.